Call Simon Templer what you will, but never cross the saint. Find out why to your peril at 7.30pm tonight. But first, it's the Thames Men. <laughs> Hello, Mr. George. How are well, I'm you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you doing? I'm f- very good. You actually, we might as well carry this on. You're talking to me about your burnt finger. You're not that well, no, are I you? I burnt my finger. It's like a tiny little burn, and it hurts like hell. It's like, how can something so small hurt so much? I want to know. Is it your thumb or your finger? It's my thumb. Oh, well, it's not your finger. And how did you burn? Well, you see, I, you know, I like a bit of gardening, you know, and and and, and, and I... welcome to the Middle East. <laughs> By the way, I'm George. I'm in Los Angeles, and I'm Alex. I'm in Colorado. Welcome to the Middle Age Light Reaction Music Channel. Let's get straight back to God- gardening. gardening. And uh, and and I grew some beets, you know, and and I was roasting the beets in the oven, uh, like you do, you know, to make some, you know, uh, and then I stupidly touched the metal trails roasting the beets in. To see if it's oh, well, hot. Well, just to pick it up, which was kind of dumb. So, anyway, do you know Jesus? Never, 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 never. Another, another top tip for you to talk about burning. Mm-hmm. Never, ever, you know, cook bacon naked. <laughs> Is that through experience, we tell this? <laughs> That's just life. <laughs> That's a general life It's just a life okay. lesson, right? right. You, got, you know, you get lucky, there's a nice girl, and you brought her back, and you know, everything's good, you've got a cigarette and a black coffee, and all of a sudden you're in the kitchen going, oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. is, is, that, is that your dating years, was like cigarette, black coffee, oh, and naked yeah. bacon? That was oh, I, I, You got the whole image I, there. You got the whole bad image. <laughs> I, by the way, I've redecorated. Have you noticed anything different about the studio? Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we brought back the laser scoreboard. Back to popular request. By, yeah, exactly. By popular demand, people said, we want to see the laser scoreboard again. So this is, it may look very similar to the last laser scoreboard, which was the laser scoreboard Mark II. This yeah. is the Mark III. Do you know why it's Mark III? Yeah. I've upgraded it. I do. I actually uh-huh. do. I actually uh-huh. do. You got, uh, somehow, you got the logo um, on there as well. I did. It, and it's got a new new label. So it's the Mark III now. Oh god, man! The laser scoreboard, Mark III. So what we do every, what we do, ladies and gentlemen, every month is we will just score out of ten. Mm-hmm. We were doing the sausage scale. We've done every scale. A volcano scale. We ran, we did the volcano ran scale volcanoes. and the sausage scale, but we ran out. Of, we well, limited knowledge on sausages or volcanoes. Volcanoes. <laughs> we had much bigger knowledge on sausages, but the Cumberland. Oh, how, where can you go after the Cumberland? There's nowhere else to go after the Cumberland, really. You know, apart no. from the Cumberland and Apple, maybe. Yes. Yeah, but, but, well, but anyway. And that was debatable. <laughs> that was debatable. Let's not get back that into was... that again. You know? No, 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 no. And the Krakatoa. Once you hit Krakatoa, there's nothing else to yeah, go. Yeah, no, no. So the laser scoreboard out of 10. It's the simplest, most elegant. So anyway, so what are we doing today? Um, what's the plan, man? We are going to put the band at the very top. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, we have all heard it. We've all probably smoked a lot of weed to mm-hmm. it. But it's time that we go back and do Freebird. <sighs> yeah, now, now, obviously, we might have heard it, but I have never seen this version. This is an 11-minute version from 77 at the Oakland Coliseum Stadium. So... Well, they've managed to cut it down to 11 minutes, haven't they? <laughs> exactly. So I hope you're sitting comfortably. Uh, and, well, yeah. I, I, I want to see if these cats could do it live. Oh, yeah, exactly. Because everyone else thinks they can do it live, don't they? So, you know, it's... Uh, yeah, it, but, you know, they, they are... So, some short notes, real very short notes, because there's, what else could be said about Leonard Skinner, really? Uh, you know, uh, it is... It, the notes here say it's, it, Leonard Skinner is one of the progenitors of Southern Rock. Uh, and uh, we've all heard people in crowds of concerts yell out at a struggling act play free bird and this is why ah, do you know what i love i love about southern rock i love the piano oh yeah oh yeah yeah do you know that was their roadie oh was it and oh yeah he was just uh they all went out and uh you know whatever they were doing and they came back in and there he was the roadie playing Freebird, and he's a classically trained pianist. Uh, and they were like, oh, my God. And he got into the band. You see, yeah, 
Brilliant. I think the only thing I don't like about it is, is some of that Southern Rock association with, well, as we see the Confederates, you know? And so, I don't fully understand it. What? I, don't, uh, I mean, I don't want to go down a political... <laughs> yeah, no, I no. don't. I don't. I'm, too, I'm a pilgrim. Uh, you, oh, that's... Oh, uh, OK. All right. Is that why yeah. you have those funny black hats? Yes. yes. And I'm still migrating. I'm a pilgrim. I don't understand all you, that you, stuff. You hitched your and, wagon you know, and you took the wagon train across the country. The Tesla, the Tesla train down to Texas. That's where all the hippies have gone uh, now. Is it really? Why would they go there? Yeah. But anyway, because because that's where Tesla moved. Oh to. right, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh. <gasps> right. Uh, <Woo>. you, sorry. <laughs> uh, so, are we ready to check this out, man? I am. I am really, really, really looking forward to this. I've never seen this. I've never seen it live, and it's in Oakland, my you know my old town. Excellent. All right. And it's 77. 77. 12 year olds could go to a gig <laughs> and get drunk and, and, smoke, and smoke. And smoke. And they, dr- they drive. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> well, that's, that's what we uh, did. Anyway, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we, didn't. No, we no. Didn't. never did that. Uh, no, 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 no. We didn't drink. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, get, let's count us in. Count us in. Big Are boy. you ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> there they are. And there he is.
go, they're gonna go. Here they go. Oh my god, I love it. Yes! Fucking brilliant, love that. Yeah, I'd love to be there!
whoa, 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 whoa. I do love a good long drawn out ending where they just keep yeah. it going. They keep yeah, yeah. Fad. Play the crowd. Oh, what a crowd. Look at it. One of the great ones, Leonard Skinner. Let's hear it for them. Wow. Man, that band's so good, you'd think they were from San Francisco. <laughs> <wouldn't you? laughs> Uh, quick, have a quick toe. Oh. <laughs> what, a, what a spectacle. That was brilliant. That was absolutely... In so many ways, was it brilliant? It had it, it had it. Well, first of all, the band. The band, no perfect. Yeah, absolutely. To, to, to carry that off. It, like We've taken that song for granted for so many years. You know, do you hear the studio versions or, you know, the club, you know, but then to see him carry it off in front of like a stadium full of people like that. Fantastic. And, and 1977 in California. Oh, which, I mean, just one of the greatest, one of the most iconic rock bands and rock songs in 1977 in California. And everyone looked healthy. Yeah, they looked like everyone California looked people, young. didn't they? You know, they sort of. It was before the sugar, a sugar. Uh, endemic took over. Everyone was slim and beautiful. Sunburn. Sunburn. But, uh, <laughs> Hell, one of those girls, wasn't she? The one of- <laughs> I know. I was worried about it. I don't think she's around to watch that now. <laughs> Probably <laughs> not. <laughs> no. No, yeah. I don't know. And then the couple getting off with each other, and then smoke. It was just fucking had everything. It did. It, it was just such such an iconic piece. It was so 1977 with just great music and looked like an awesome event. You know, just... It's, it's an exquisite song, the first part. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, it is beautifully written and the lyrics and everything. And then, uh, you know, and the the crescendo builds up and then there is, there's no greater guitar solo ever. Yeah, it, exactly. And it's built and it's just like, and he was just such, just pulling it out. It was amazing because yeah. he, he was pretty passive to start with. You know, he was just going, yeah. I'm just playing, I'm just playing. And then he had his moment, his moment to shine, you know, and it was yeah. fantastic, yeah. worth every second. I think all the uh, I mean, I'm so glad that there must have been a Bill Graham concert. He did all the big gigs down there. I'm so glad that was caught. So gl- glad that moment was caught on film because, I mean, the year, the location, the song, the execution, and, I mean, like, it was just absolutely mind blown all right well you know do we do we do we put it on the scoreboard oh well you see like you know it's it's uh, you know we used to, we did the scoreboard a lot and and you know i have a i have the worst handwriting out there and i end up doing the scoreboard yeah. and then then we've also got to do the math thing as well and uh anyway it's it's all good we can work we can get through this but apologies all for right. my handwriting people and apologies if we get our math wrong because can you spell Leonard Skinner? Because that's actually really true. <laughs> we could have gone for something like The Cure as our first one, couldn't we? <laughs> I know, you know, I know. The, the, the. the. I, I could probably get that right, you know. But like, yes. anyway, I'm going to write, I'm just going to do my, do, just do my, I should have done this beforehand, shouldn't I, you know? Uh, I know. See, yeah. here we are, ladies and gentlemen, um, you know, so, such a professional. <laughs> but not many other reaction channels can actually afford a laser scoreboard not, not, mark Not of the quality that we bring to this thing, you know? No, yeah. no, it's innovations yeah, yeah. like this that keeps us moving, ploughing ahead. As my friend quickly works out where the Y goes <laughs> in Linus exactly. Skinner. That was exactly what I was doing. How many Ys are yeah. there? <laughs> Too many. I think I think they uh, thought they were really clever on the spelling. Okay. And, yeah. and they were. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they were. Well, yeah exactly. It was, and so, so, okay, so I've got it written down now in terrible handwriting. Okay. Scores. What's your score, sir? It's a really hard one to score because that is the all-time anthem iconic rock song from the 70s. Mm-hmm. If you're driving in a car, I mean, there's a reason why people shout Freebird because technically it's so difficult. It's got to be, and I hate to do it, mm-hmm. but it's got to be a 9.8. Oh, you can't be starting on a 9.8. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's just, I know that's a problem. Oh, you go 9.8. Oh. It has to be. I mean, there is no greater rock track except for some, maybe some lazy from Purple or whatever. But I mean, I mean, every, you know, that is it. That is 
the rock iconic. Okay. All right. Track. All right. Well, I, I I can accept your argument on that one. I can accept that. So so just because we don't want to make it too too easy, I I'm going to go with a, a like a nine point two. I think is is my number because also it works on the math. It's a lot easier on the math for me. You know. So I think. Uh, uh, so you got a nine point eight. I got nine point two. What does that equal, Alex? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he just came on a nine point two on. Free power. It's okay, you know. It's I just you know, there's, you know, when we get to those higher echelons, it's it's like you know a little means a lot. It's like an earthquake. It's like a, a logarithmic scale. You know what I mean? You know, at each point one you go up like doubles it. You know, so it's a you know I think nine nine two is pretty good. We, you know, no, next time we should come out at the same. You gotta come out. Score. Of the with, oh, the, with score. the score, okay, sorry, just, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. so, so yeah, yeah. I reckon with my uh, just oh, just fire up the computer. Can we just fire the computer up again? Oh yeah, uh, nine nine point eight, and what do we say? A nine point two. Yeah, is yeah, it? So oh, I'm gonna, it, it spits it out nineteen point zero. Nineteen point zero. Okay, so so whereabouts do you think I should put that on the board? Do you think we'll I have think anything we above it? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. There you go, ladies and there gentlemen. There we go, oh. Leonard Skinner, 19.0. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it, do the, the, it doesn't stop there because, ladies and gentlemen, all the old fan favourites are coming about. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Wheel of Fortune. Fortune. Right. Oh, there it is. Look at it. It's like the Le good old days. It is like the good old days. It's like technology has never happened. <laughs> we we like the retro, and now we're being retro on ourselves. How meta is that? Well, no. Well, it's um. Well, first of all, ignore Leonard Skinner because we just did that. Right? <laughs> we well, better not come up on the Wheel of Fortune then, isn't it? Now, if we get that, if it's a god, what that is, that's a placeholder because if anyone becomes a patron now on our Patreon channel, join the crew. It, we're picking one god tier at the end of June? this month, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. That means if you get to be that person, you get to choose one track of the video to come uh, for six months on the main channel. So that will be your slot. Yeah. UFO, Ren, that's for his new track coming out. Don't know, I can't pronounce that. Jimmy Barnes, Lou Reed, <laughs> Johnny Winter, Rainbow, Nemophilia, Nemo, uh -huh. Joan Armour Trading, Atlas. <laughs> Are you ready? I am certainly ready. Okay, I, uh, Jim, Count Jim, Jim, you ready? Jim's ready. Okay, let's do it. Okay, three, two, one, go. Joan Armor Trading. Joan Armor Trading. Well, that is actually, you know, that's very interesting. So we're gonna we're gonna bring out a Joan Armor Trading Joan Armor Trading on on a tra on a plate on uh, anyway. Easy for you to say. Uh, because it's going to be a promo for a whole Joan Armour Trading Week we got coming up. It's going to be the ne yeah, next curated week. Hang on a second. I've got to put Can this you put it away. away. I'm just going to press, press the, uh, the automatic okay. button. Oh. So, so, so. Yes, it's there. It's a god. Yes. <laughs> Technology like that that keeps the... Uh, Keeps you on a cutting edge. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I can't wait. You, Excellent. You should have seen. You should have seen what we wanted to bring, and we wanted to bring in the tombola. <laughs> uh, I want. I've told you this before. I want one of those like uh, those boards that they used to have at airports with the things that tick over. You know where they go yeah. and like they flick over. They go tick, 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 and then it comes out. You know your flight's leaving at thirteen twenty-seven. You know whatever happens. There's one for sale. I saw it. It was about thirteen. I know grand. they make them now. And they are insanely expensive. <laughs> insanely expensive. But if we had one, we could. Um, we need a lot of patrons to get one of those. We need a lot of a patrons. A lot of patrons. Yeah, so yeah. please, like and subscribe and join our patron. And maybe if we get enough, we could get the ticky scoreboard thing. We don't know what we do. We just insult each other on it. <laughs> I, I want to have it. I want to have it in my house. So. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, I'm going to be gone like free as a bird. Oh. And if I am gone here tomorrow, oh, don't do it, don't would do you it. still... Don't do it. Remember me. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that, should I? No. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll then. see you on the flip side. See you on the flip side. Bye. Bye.